in Madcap Flare 2020, a new code snippet editor has been added to make it easy for authors to quickly and easily insert code snippets in dozens of languages. The syntax is automatically highlighted according to the selected language. And in HTML5 output, your readers can click on a copy button in the snippet and then paste the code elsewhere if needed. Plus, the code snippets transform beautifully in print outputs too. So let's have a look at how easy it is to manage in Flare 2020. So here we are in our Flare topic, and if I need to insert a code snippet into this particular file, one of the things you'll notice that's new is from the Insert ribbon, I have the option here in the text area to insert a code snippet. So I'll go ahead and insert a code snippet here. I'll drop in a little bit of code. Now on the right-hand side, we have the option to put in a caption if we would like, and we have the option to choose where we would like that caption to go. Would we like to have it above or below the code snippet? I'll choose above for this example. We can also choose to have that caption repeat. If you happen to have a long code snippet and it encounters a page break in a PDF or a word output, for example, you may choose to have that caption continue on to the next page. So that's an option that you have. Here I'm going to choose my language. In this case, it's JavaScript. And I do want to include line numbers in my code snippet. I'm going to make it start at one, but of course we can force the start here if we would like. I'm going to come back to continuous in just a moment. So when I select OK, my code snippet is inserted and we can see my caption, which was above the snippet of code, which is what I chose. Here's my integrated copy button. And let's go ahead and do a quick preview and see how this looks. And we can see that in HTML5, it looks great with the code syntax highlighting. There's my integrated copy button if I needed to copy this code and place it elsewhere. And if we needed to see how it's going to look in PDF, we can do a quick preview there. And we can see that it translates beautifully in our print outputs too. So you may also have to insert an additional snippet of code. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll do the same thing. I'll insert code snippet, drop it in. Now this time, I'm going to choose my language. But this time I want the line numbers, but I want it to be continuous. Okay, so this is a, an additional bit of code after some supporting text or images. So we can see that it ends in five and picks right up again at six. Now, anytime you insert a code snippet, you can of course edit that code snippet simply by right clicking and choosing to edit. And you can edit any element of that code snippet you want. And you can also style the way this snippet looks using your Flare style sheet. We can see these are wrapped in Madcap uh, snippet elements here. So we can change lots of things about how this code snippet looks. In fact, I did a little uh, change in my style sheet. So let's apply a different style class just to see how that looks. So in this instance, I applied a different style class for that code snippet with a blue border that's a little bit rounded and a background color. So we can get as creative as we want in terms of how these look. So I hope you enjoy this new feature in Madcap Flare 2020.